saw. This is Blair's the movie film. And last month I watched The Simpsons season 13. And for the most part I really enjoyed that season. Now I don't think it's fucking amazing and I think that most episodes of that season aren't nearly as good as the episode of season 10 and earlier. But regardless I had a very fun time. But I couldn't help but notice that the Simpsons has changed and by that I mean a lot. The Simpsons is no longer a realistic show and now has a lot of moments that don't make sense. And season 13 sure has a ton of them. Now most of the things of season 13 of The Simpsons that didn't make sense didn't really bother me that much. In fact, I was okay with most of the nonsensical stuff in season 13 of The Simpsons. However, there are a couple of moments that really fucking bugged me a lot. And this is the top 5 list of the stupidest moments of season 13 of The Simpsons. Now, I know that The Simpsons is a comedy show and it isn't supposed to be taken seriously. But the moments on this list aren't funny in the slightest and just bugged me. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 5. The sudden appearance of a bus station right next to the home of the Simpsons from the episode The Old Man and the Key. Now this isn't something that's bothering me that much. In fact, I don't mind this for the most part. Really, the only reason this is on this list is because this video needs five entries in order to make a full list. But anyway, where the hell did that bus station come from? I mean, seriously, that bus station near the home of the Simpsons is never seen or referenced in any other episode. Really, the bus station was just there for plot conveniences. This might not be a big deal to me, but it's still pretty stupid. But the rest of the things on this list are things that really are bothering me. So without further ado, let's continue. Number 4. The fact that Lisa Simpson was able to lie about being a high school student in the episode Little Girl in the Big Ten. Now don't get me wrong, I do think that this is a good episode. And I think that this tight story with Lisa is pretty fucking awesome. But there is one thing about this episode that... I can't get over, that's really bothering me. How the hell did Lisa Simpson manage to lie about being a high school student? I mean seriously, it's plainly fucking obvious that Lisa Simpson is a kid. She's the size of a kid, hell, she even fucking looks like one. When you're a kid, you can't really lie about being a high school student because kids don't look like high school students at all. And also the fact is, the high school students are very smart. They should have fucking recognized Lisa as a kid from the very fucking beginning. But for some reason, Lisa was able to lie about being a high school student and I don't understand why. Number 3, the entire episode Gump Roast. Now, I fucking hate Simpsons episodes that are for the most part just clips from previous episodes because those types of episodes are completely fucking pointless and not to mention very fucking boring. I mean seriously, why make an episode that's just flashbacks to previous episodes? If I wanted to watch previous episodes of The Simpsons, I would watch the actual fucking episodes. Simpsons episodes that are nothing but a clip show are nothing but a waste of my time. Number 2, the fact that Homer Simpson couldn't divorce that whore in the episode in the family. Now Homer Simpson did marry a whore in Las Vegas when he was drunk. But tell me, is there any fucking reason why he couldn't just divorce that whore? I mean seriously, he should have the fucking right 
to divorce someone if he doesn't like them. It's plainly obvious to me that he loved Mars. Not that fucking whore from Las Vegas. When Howard went to the jury and tried to divorce, instead of the judge allowing Howard to divorce, she instead ordered Homer to take care of both of his wives. That does make her a fucking dick. I might not know a lot about the relationship, but shouldn't a man have every right to divorce a woman he doesn't like? I mean seriously. Number one, the fact that Smithers was Burns' assistant since he was a baby from the episode They Plant Their Ears. There is one huge issue that I have with this scene. It's the fact that it totally fucking ruins the character of Smithers. In previous episodes when I saw Smithers, I thought that he was hired by Burns. But apparently I was wrong. According to this episode, Smithers has been Burns' assistant since he was a fucking baby. And also, what the hell was Smithers' father doing with a baby in that scene anyway? Why would he bring a fucking baby to work? That makes no sense. I just can't believe how much this scene absolutely fucking ruined the character of Smithers. Thanks to that stupid scene, I can never think of Smithers the same ever again. Smithers in present day says that his father was a hero. But yeah, I hate that scene with a fucking passion. So this has been the top 5 list of the stupidest moments in The Simpsons season 13. Now of course there are many more moments of that particular season that didn't make much sense. But to be honest, the other silly moments of that season are moments that really didn't bother me that much. And I was totally fucking okay with them. Yeah, there were only four moments of that particular season that I really had big issues with. But other than that, season 13 on The Simpsons has been very fucking good in my opinion. Of course it isn't nearly as fucking awesome as the first 10 seasons, but I still had a lot of fun. So yeah, that's basically all I gotta say folks. Thank you for watching and have a great day.